Over the last decade, smokers across the country have been put on the defensive, pushed out of offices, restaurants, and bars. New York City is now taking the war against tobacco a step further with a new law that goes into effect tomorrow, banning smoking outdoors at beaches, boardwalks, parks, and pedestrian plazas. You know, I'm a smoker. That's my choice. I smoke. It's not going to make me stop. It's almost like a dictatorship telling us that we can't do this and we can't do that. New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg, a former smoker, pushed for the law that aims to drastically reduce, if not eliminate, exposure to secondhand smoke. I feel like everywhere I go, people are outside smoking because they can't be smoking inside, and I have to steer my stroller out of the way of secondhand smoke. New York City health officials are also hoping to discourage a new generation from picking up the habit, sending out the message it is no longer acceptable to light up in family-friendly places. The Big Apple is not alone. 35 states across the country have laws banning smoking indoors. But to date, less than 3% of cities across the country have outdoor smoking bans. Public policy professor Dan Feldman says New York City's ban may be counterproductive. What does it mean when New York City, the nation's largest city, enacts this kind of far-reaching smoking ban? Well, I'm afraid that it could hurt the credibility of more reasonable restrictions on smoking. Giving New Yorkers who smoke... It infringes on my rights. Outside, this, you're not hurting anyone. One more reason to tell City Hall to butt out. Jay Dow, CBS News, New York.